100 Jams, where hit music lives. Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, Future, and Travis Scott right there off the Voice of the Heroes album with Hats Off. Right about now, it's time for Chat Trap, talking about your hot topics in the media today. So let's dive right into it. So last week, we had a couple of sudden legendary deaths that took place, leaving most of us shocked. And one of our most beloved bohemian legends, Sidney Poitier, had passed away last Thursday. And now television series Full House star Bob Saget at age 65 was found unresponsive in his hotel room laying on his bed. At this time, there is no evidence of drug use or foul play, but an autopsy was done and the results are pending, which may take up to 10 to 12 weeks. And new news came forth stating that before Betty White had actually passed away, she had actually suffered a stroke six days prior. So a lot of our legends have officially passed away at the beginning of the year 2022. And this is still sad news for a lot of us, especially with Sidney Poitier passing away. Still sending my most sincere condolences to his family, friends, and all of his loved ones. Moving on to further news, it's so important to be extra careful these days due to COVID-19 being much more contagious than before. When traveling, because just recently, 125 out of 179 passengers on a flight from Italy to India tested positive for COVID-19 despite many getting negative results just before takeoff. Many of the travelers wondered why did they test positive, right? And of course, I'm pretty sure you're wondering the same thing after getting that negative result in Italy. However, the flight from Italy did make a technical stopover in Russia on the way to India. And this is when a lot of them had actually contracted COVID-19. So a lot of you are still traveling, whether it's for leisure, whether it's for business, still reminding you, you want to be super careful while you're out there because it is possible for you to go ahead and test positive, seeing that you might have a stopover or a quick layover. Just reminding you while you're out there traveling, okay? Moving on to further news, a 33-year-old woman, hold up. This is when you probably get a little bit, get a little chuckle today. And this is probably one of the reasons why they think women can't make up their mind. So <laughs> a 33-year-old woman who had married herself is now getting divorced after she had met someone else. And guess how long she was married to herself for? Just 90 days. 90 days. Wow. Two months. She was married to herself and she decided, hey, I can't take it anymore. I finally found someone that deserves to be with me. But she said the original reason for her actually marrying herself because she was bored of being reliant on just one man. So she decided, hey, I'll just go ahead and marry me. But now, um, yeah, she's moved on and she's getting a divorce from herself. I don't know how long that's going to take. But yeah, she's getting a divorce from herself and she's found someone. At least she found someone. You know, because she said, I started to believe in, the lo in love the moment I met someone else special. So maybe it just was her time to meet that special person. I don't know, man. It's crazy what happens in the world today. But that's it for Chat Trap. Just briefly letting you know what's happening in the media. Going to jump back into the mix right now. Lil TJ Black calling my phone.